Welcome to Cooking with K Blaze. We're here on another episode. I finally worked up enough uh, infrastructure that I can have somewhat of a crew. Holla at my man, camera, ah, the camera mind, yeah. All right, so this is gonna be the refrigerator raid on what we're gonna cook this evening, all right? So we're gonna come in here, we're gonna do some eyeballing. Oh, there's some chicken. Some chicken, throw some chicken up on there. What else we got? Come on here, let's check out the vegetables. All right, chicken, all right, you know what, we'll grab a little corn on the cob, non Monsanto. All right, uh, a couple pieces of broccolini. Broccolini, like long stemmed broccoli. Uh, and a couple green beans, broccolini, green beans, broccolini, green beans, onion. Jalapeno, okay. That'll hold us over for now, okay. Cebollas. All right, here we go. And then with the rice, rice is one of the most easiest things to cook, and I'm gonna tell you why. It's one and one. And what's one and one and one? One and one and one is three. Got some potatoes in here. We're gonna move them out of the way. We're gonna come over here. All right. When I say one and one, I mean one cup rice for two cups of water. Not one and one. One and two. I was saying three, one and one and one and two, one and two is three, one and one and one is three. We're just gonna do a cup, a cup of rice. A cup of rice in here. And that'll give you that perfect ratio. I went a little bit over, but it's okay. All right, usually I just eyeball it. I don't use the measuring cup, but just for the sake of showing somebody how to cook rice if you don't know how to cook rice. All right, we're gonna come down here in the pan section. Get a pan with a lid. All right, we're gonna put the rice in there. Boom. And then one cup of rice for two cups of water. Filling, 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 filling up. Filling, 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 filling my cup. We have one cup. Working this way up. Coming up, two cups. Up, up, up. Stop it up. Pop. Pour it on in. Put it on a rice size burner. Put it on high. And how I usually do my rice, I'll say uh, the oil. A little garlic. It's like a lot of garlic. So strong, muy fuerte. Ajo, ajo. Salt. Because you want everybody to just finish their meal and move on so we can get the dishes cleaned up and then we can move on. All right? Once that starts coming to a boil, I'm going to put it down on low and I'm going to forget about it. Because we got vegetables and all kind of other stuff we got to be cooking. The chicken. Let's go on and get this prepped. We'll show you the chicken prep right here. Finally got a crew. Look, got me on my game now. <clears throat> just grab a big old piece of foil. And I try to touch the least amount of meat as possible. I know it's gonna get cooked properly, but I just try to like score a corner, and then usually the chicken will just be able to be squeezed out like some toothpaste onto that joint, all right? And even though I did not touch the chicken, I'm still gonna wash my hands over here. And I gotta emphasize hygiene in all this. Some people will wash their chicken. I use enough uh, vinegar. Salt, harsh, strong spices usually probably take care of everything along with the heat. But you should wash your chicken. But I've been doing this for years like this. How do you wash your chicken, K Blaze? I would run through a little bit of vinegar. Basically, just run through a little bit of vinegar. Whatever. Look, I got vinegar right here in the spray bottle. Just keep a just keep a spray bottle of vinegar. Might have got a little chicken juice over here. Look, boom, boom. All bacteria and viruses neutralized. What's up? All right. And what will we season with? First, I'm gonna make a little trough for it. Kind of cradle it in here. I know you might have seen like uh, Bear Grylls or Les Shroud try to use a piece of foil they found on some shoreline somewhere to to do this and uh, you know we just gonna put a little water in there first off because I like to have it marinated in the juices while I'm cooking it 
keep everything nice and moist. <clears throat> what if it's the worst All right, there's that. And I always like to just slice the onion and throw it in there. I hope everybody had a great week. Today's Friday, getting into the weekend so we can enjoy not working for just a few quick days before we got to go back to the grind. And the onions will cook all the way down to kind of like almost make a, a type of like gravy that you can just rub and smear all along. All right, anyway, seasoning style, seasoning time. Just gonna do some turmeric, man. Everybody loves my, oh man, that one's all sealed up. There was another one. Oh man, all right, all right, I'm just gonna look at this one. Everybody in America loves mustard, right? You should check out the ingredients and what's inside of mustard. And what's the parable of the mustard seed, right? Look up a mustard seed. Yahweh told us that he was gonna teach us in similitude, similarities between things. Look, a corn husk. It's the fruit inside of a husk. Like our spirit inside of these vessels, clothed in our nakedness. Okay, garlic, pimienta negra, can you mas, can you mas, all right, and we did the turmeric, garlic, fat, boom, salt, 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 boom, 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 soy sauce, okay, shout out to Moab, soy sauce in there. Come on, get a good close-up look on, on what's going on in this chicken situation right here. All right. Got some water and some oil. That's going to go on to the grill. And you know what? Let's just go put it on, man. Come on, here. I just use this little cutting board here to swing underneath so we can make sure we ain't losing nothing. And I invite you all to come outside. Cook one K Blaze Live. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Trip wire set up over here. Hula hoop. Hula hoop. Hula hoop. Hula hoop. That's a good angle, man. Yeah. Big thanks up to the crew. Also, all praise to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, and Most High God. Thank you for all of the seasonings and these animals. Thank you for your commandments and laws. I'm a little bit wet. I'm gonna make sure I clean this up with some vinegar as well. All right, and I'm just gonna. Okay. I'm just gonna put it on low. Let this get going. Let it start cooking down through the bone. I'll pop it off, sear it, pop it back in, let it marinate and all of the goodness. I'm gonna go cut up that jalapeno now. You know, let's just keep it rolling. We don't need no breaks now. We got an overflow. Zoom in on it. Alright, the rice is boiling now. I'm gonna put that joint on low. Right? Where's my spoon for that? I got a favorite spoon I use. It's a good one for scooping and lifting and fluffing the rice. A spoon like this one here. Alright. Smells good. Put it on low. That kind of stuff happens when you when you're doing all, all kind of fun stuff. All right. I don't like vegetables. Oh man, let me just get a chicken tender. No, we're not doing that. Okay. We actually steam the vegetables, and it's easier than some may think. Come on over here. I'm just gonna put a little bit of water in here. Look. Just a little bit of water in there. That's it. I didn't measure that. It's just sloshing around in there, just enough to cover the bottom. All right, pop it on here. Broccolini, broccolini and green beans. We'll cut the ends off of these real quick. Waste not, what not. Come on now. Flip them the other way, make it happen. There it is. 
Green beans, onion. Mm -hmm. Going back in the fridge. It's going back in the fridge. Oh, here's how you cut up a jalapeno properly. Check it out, okay? I like to cut the top off like this, and I, I like to just take a bite of it. Mm. So fresh. This white part is the spicy part. The green part is not so spicy. It has a very good flavor. And you don't always have to eat that white part, man. Somebody, people like, I don't like jalapenos. That's because somebody ain't cut out the vein, it's called. It's that tender white substance that holds the seed. And it's easy if you got a knife that's shaped like this. It's like shaped just right, right. You just cut the center part out. Now, this basically is not spicy other than this part and this part. Seeds are spicy. But let's say you just wanted to add a kick and you wanted to make it spicy, okay? You would just leave a little bit of vein in there. Let's not cut this one out all, out all the way, all right? We'll leave this vein in right here and that part will be spicy. But I'm gonna do this uh, like this. And this is gonna get thrown in with the chicken. And basically, to, to, to cook these vegetables right here, we're gonna bring it to a boil so there's steam coming out and then we're just gonna turn it off then move it off of the burner and it'll be ready by the time dinner's ready but we can't do it yet because we still got a lot of cooking to do couple, good solid couple minutes on this rice good good solid couple minutes on the chicken uh for now let's just get into a quick cleanup all right this is the easiest thing to clean up right here that's that goes without saying but we got a little chicken juice on this right here right so we just gonna we're just gonna saturate it up with a little bit of vinegar a little vinegar in a spray bottle i'm telling you Max alkalinity, right here, taking care of everything. And I'm just gonna let that sit. Cause that's gonna be all right. Hit my fingers a little bit. Uh, let's get this cleaned up. You know what I like? I like to use. Where we at? Where we at? Oh yeah, this bad boy right here. This bad boy right here. Just getting on a tree tip. It's just like you, you back at the sub shop cooking subs again. <laughs> Whatever, you know what I mean? But we just taking care of the scraps. I like to get a composting situation out there, but you know, this is where I'm at right now. Oh, and the piece of corn. Let's not forget about that. We'll go ahead and put that on, and then we'll get back to you with a little quick wrap up episode. It's gonna be like two minutes, 30 seconds long. But this is how this one goes. All right, so come on. Let's... Corn's even easier. Sir, you with the green flavor shop. They ain't paying us. Who, me? Yes, get ready for a burst of intense flavor or whatever you're on to. Okay. I'm just gonna slide this right in here like this. And by the time everything else is done cooking, and corn will be done cooking, some people like it on the cob, some people like it cut off, some people like to stunt, some people like to floss. Alright? Peace and blessings. Shalom.